Hey everyone, Jason and Kim back at you again with another video. And as you can see, Daisy's back. Yay! A lot of you subscribers have been asking about her, and uh, we appreciate that. We have a niece still staying with us at home, uh, but we thought we haven't uh, taken her out in a while. We've been staying in hotels and stuff because, as many of you know, the RV was getting fixed for months. It's back! So we finally got it back and uh, so we're camping out here <clears throat> one of our favorite spots in Oregon we're at uh, Silver Falls State Park and so we're going to uh, show you around a little bit about this place uh, it's pretty neat it's got 10 waterfalls uh, that you can hike to so seven miles if you wanted to try to hike the whole thing uh, but for now with uh, having Daisy here unfortunately they don't allow you to take dogs on the trail you can see a couple of the main waterfalls uh, with a dog, but if you wanted to try to see them all, they they don't allow dogs on the trail, unfortunately. So, but there are thirty, I think thirty-five miles of trails um, that dogs can go on around here. It's just not the loop around where the waterfalls are. Thirty-five miles? Yeah, it's, it goes all over. Goodness gracious, that's yeah. a lot of miles of hiking. I'll try to grab a pamphlet and give you some details about how many spots they have. Uh, but I know that uh, it's a temperate rainforest here, so it's kind of neat. Not only do you have the waterfalls, but it's also a rainforest. And then in the spot we're in right now, it's a, um, what do we got, electric and water? Right, yeah. And, I don't, and it's have 51 any? feet long. Yeah. So they have Any with sewer? I don't think there's any with sewer. There's okay. a dump station here, but okay. I don't think any with sewer. Um, and there's only two loops. And this, the loop we're in is all trailers. The other one is mostly tents, and I think there's like 10 trailer sites. Mm -hmm. So it's not, it's not a huge place. So hopefully we'll be able to show you some of these waterfalls, and then you can see what we're talking about. Uh, it's really a neat place to come to. It's just got a lot of just a wide open areas and stuff for hiking and you know playing with kids and they got a park and there's a paved trail too like a i, I think uh, it's like four miles of yeah, paved for trail bikes for yep. biking yep so a lot of stuff to do here mm -hmm. so anyway come along and we'll show you around silver falls state park so how do you like to camp whether it is in an rv a tent a rusty cabin with a group or with your horse Silver Falls State Park has you covered with its 9,065 acres of forest, meadows, canyons, and sparkling waterfalls. The park has 48 electrical sites with water. 18 of those sites are open year-round. There's 43 tent sites with water available nearby. Those are open seasonally from May through October. They also have 14 cabins, four of which are pet-friendly, which are open year-round. They also offer hot showers and flush toilets. In addition, they have five primitive camping sites for up to eight people and four horses. And then of course they have the trail of the 10 falls, which is magnificent. Kim the pyro, <laughs> getting the fire started. Trying, it's a little wet. Any of you guys have noticed, we've been uh, doing a lot of camping in hotels because our trailer's Camping been in hotels. <laughs> yeah, staying in hotels because our trailer's been gone. It's nice to finally be back in front of a campfire again, even if we didn't bring our right chairs. <laughs> <laughs> so instead, we're sitting on a tablecloth on our wet bench. We brought chairs. We just brought our big old lounger chairs that uh, don't do very well if you Someone want to be close did to the, the fire. Packing. Someone didn't tell me which chairs to get. I had them laying out with all the stuff. Hmm. You chose not to put them. Somebody didn't see him. <laughs> and that somebody would be me. Okay. Steak and potatoes. And beer, and coleslaw, not a bad meal. Hamburgers last night, steak tonight. It's just healthy American meal. It's good for the arteries. Doesn't matter that I have a bad heart or nothing. <laughs> just keep eating red meat. We would never do well as vegetarians. so cold last night that we started to get ice chunks on the uh, back of our truck on our tonneau cover and then uh, came out this morning and the sun's out blue skies and now all the trees are smoking they're venting which is pretty cool 
Big change in uh, weather. It's supposed to be in the mid 50s or so today. And last night it got down under freezing, so. Kim, always come her prepared. <laughs> Taking care of, I don't know, you. <laughs> I was gonna say the baby, but. <laughs> you call me a baby? <laughs> So we are in a loop now. Um, don't fault them for the way it looks. There's tree debris all over. Uh, this loop is closed for the winter time. Uh, this is the tent only site um, or area. And uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to be in a tent. The amount of rain we had last night was insane. And tonight it's actually supposed to snow. So tenting is really not an option this time of year. So they also have cabins here. And as you can see from all the cars, if you Jason pans around, uh, it looks like they're all being used. And here is your first waterfall. Ah, uh, just kidding. All right, so this is the paved trail that we're on and you can actually access it from our campsite. We've walked here from there. It goes along through the forest and follows the river along. And we're heading down to South Falls, which is the biggest waterfall here. Um, and way over to the right is the big parking lot uh, where you can come park and have closer access, but it is uh, fully paved. It's a little bumpy, so might be careful with little ones. <laughs> All right, so it was raining really hard and we noticed it's really pretty cold out. Now we have a nice rain snow mix coming down. So yeah, if this doesn't hurry up and pass, we're gonna get soaked getting back to the trailer. If you don't like the weather in Oregon, wait five minutes. It's literally been five minutes and now it's totally dry and there's actually blue sky up there. So, crazy. So this is the water that's going over the South Falls. So in just a moment, we'll go around the corner and you'll see it from the other side. considered a temperate rainforest, which is uh, only found in a small band between the ocean and coastal mountains. Uh, the average rainfall here is about 80 inches a year, hence our awesome weather we've had today. And over at the South Falls, it's actually four different layers of lava. All right, so we uh, pressed our luck, went past the waterfall on this really beautiful trail, and uh, now the rain is back. So I think we've uh, Got just about as far as we can get on this trail. Uh, like we said, we can't take dogs, unfortunately, so we won't be able to get to all 10 of the waterfalls, but if you ever get a chance, they're awesome. Um, I'll try to show you guys some photos. I was out here, or Kim and I were out here a couple months back, and I was able to take some photos back then. Uh, of course, in the wintertime, that's gonna be the best time if you wanna come see the, the Russian waterfalls due to all the rain. Um, spring and summer, they're gonna be much smaller uh, than what you get in uh, the wintertime. So anyway, definitely worth the trip out here to the trails and the waterfall. It's beautiful and give you something to do during the day while you're camping. Yeah, so I'm completely out of breath. I just ran about a mile because Jason left his microphone on the ground back on that trail where we turned around when it started raining. No, I didn't. <coughs> and now as you can see, it's completely stopped raining. But anyway, we came upon these signs that welcomes us to an historic district. Um, this has been listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Um, when they built these buildings, they were uh, designed to harmonize with the setting. So you'll see, um, we'll show you some pictures of them, of the, all the stone and the, they still have moss all over the roofs and stuff. So they're, they're left to just kind of blend in with the scenery around here. So one of the reasons we love this place is how well maintained it is. So even though here, we're here in the dead of winter, 
uh, you can see, I mean, it, the pathways are clear and it's just, it's just nice, well kept. There's, there's moss on the sidewalks for, you know, aesthetic reasons, but it's not slippery. So they, they maintain it in the, the actual walkway, but leave the moss on the sides. As if there aren't enough cool things about this place. They even have a cafe where you can get nice hot chocolate on a cool day like today. Um, and it's actually a full deli where you can get sandwiches and things and they have um, a nice little indoor seating area for you. So, cheers. See, if Kim ever says I don't do dishes, she lies. Today's her birthday, so happy birthday to Kim. And just for that, I'm gonna do all the dishes from now on, every single day of my life. Okay, that's not true. <laughs> we have a dishwasher for that. You guys enjoy that that unfortunately is what we have to deal with um, because that Murphy bed is just not very comfortable I mean the pad on that thing is maybe that thick and then when you fold it over it's got a crease and so you wake up in the morning with just horrible back pain and we don't have back pain but that bed does it to us um, so we went to Costco and we bought this memory foam mat and that thing's about four or five inches thick just on its own and we used it this weekend for the first time and a lot more comfortable for sure. We didn't wake up uh, with bad backs. Now the problem with it is now it's just space and we're already limited in space on this trailer. So we're trying to figure out how we can uh, make that work without having to bring it back because it really is doing the job. Uh, but unfortunately it's um, very big and bulky. And then when we drive, it's gonna fall off. <laughs> we're gonna show up and have our bed on the floor and what have you so anyway hopefully uh, we find a solution all right so for all of our fellow lance owners out there we uh kim and i joined the lance owners of america so we get this cool little sticker to put on our trailer and um sign up for our first outing uh, i believe it's in june down in uh, south beach uh, on the oregon coast i believe so anyway let's get this uh, thing set up and i want to thank all the folks that that are on that website there. You guys have been a ton of help with any questions that we've had in regards to our Lance. Uh, probably one of the best forums that I've been a part of. Um, be very welcoming and very helpful. So thank you guys very much.